Whew, hey y'all, God is so good. All right, so this is gonna be a word. I can't say if it's gonna be quick or not because this is like spontaneous for me, but I'm just letting Holy Spirit flow and say what he wants to say. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' holy and mighty and precious name. We thank you, Father God, for it all. Thank you for this word that you're giving out. Thank you for the word that you're releasing in this hour. And I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you for the confidence. Thank you for the courage. Thank you for the boldness that is all of your spirit for your glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father God, I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, over those tuning into this video and over this word father god and i pray that it reaches those that it's intended to reach father god that it brings the joy that it brings the peace that it brings the happiness the love father god everything that it's intended to bring heavenly father everything that you are sending this word forth to do father god i pray that it, it accomplishes every single task that you're sending it out to do father god and it does not return to you void in jesus name i also pray heavenly father that you dispatch a legion of angels to war for us in the spirit and to encamp round about us father god as well to protect us on our way to whatever it is we're, we're doing today this evening wherever they're going to be viewing this video or hearing this video father god i pray that you protect them and that they be protected in every way in jesus name i also ask you heavenly father to decrease me and you increase in every way heavenly father by your holy spirit you speak and say what it is you want to say to your children in jesus name i yield my heart my tongue every part of me to you lord have your way holy spirit in jesus name the name above any and all other names i pray and i thank you father god for it all in jesus name amen y'all this word is like i was expecting it to go one way and it's like whew, he's he's doing things <laughs> people have more faith in the sun is the title of this word and i know people are gonna watch this and be like what the lord gave me this last night like i was getting ready for bed and everything and god was just like he was just filling me with joy like i was just like laughing and i know right now like i don't look like it like i probably do look like i'm full of joy but you know like i'm talking about like clowning like he he like giggling and stuff but the lord was showing me like my children have more faith in the sun than they do in me and i was just like but this is after he gave me the revelation like he gave me the revelation first then said what he just said and i'm gonna give you all what he gave me the thing is, is we wake up every day expecting the sun to be in the sky. Like today is day, all right? You know, it's daytime. The, the sun, which is a creation, it's from the Lord, from God, is in the sky. So you guys expect God to bring the sun out and then the moon at its appropriate times, but you don't expect God to do what he promised you. Hey, God, I will to see. We oftentimes forget that God is an awesome God and we unknowingly naively put our faith in the things around us rather than the one that created the things around us okay we put faith in trees being trees trees bearing leaves in the proper seasons we put faith in and when the thunder comes that there's going to be rain we put faith in the fact that we all cut it i will test it we put faith in god's creation and the elements of his his creation rather than the creator okay so with that being said this is gonna check you in terms of like wow you know i actually do put faith in that when you go to bed at night you expect to go to sleep and wake up the next day all right that same faith that you're putting in going to sleep and waking up that same faith that you're putting in the sun to be in the sky when you wake up in the morning to bring that beautiful sunrise that's the faith we have to have in god and this is just to check you to show you like that's a better way to look at it not to check you and like oh she's coming for me like no because this blessed me and it blessed me to the point where the lord was like this is not just for you this is for my children this is for everybody else that is in the body of christ that need this pick me up that need this this little pin this little this little nugget this little nugget from heaven okay and when you hang on to that fact and realize that, because the thing is, is these storms, they get real ghetto. The warfare gets so ghetto, y'all. And there's like, you don't want <laughs> to keep going sometimes. I know that feeling. Okay, we're human, all right? But the thing is, is God, he'll give us these little nuggets and he'll give us things to hang on to so that we can keep going. The whole purpose of faith, the whole purpose of waiting is to build your faith and it's only faith that can please god and he wants you to have faith in this that's why many of you have been waiting for these marital promises it feels like like he probably just gave you a promise like a couple of months ago and you may actually be getting married this year or you just got the promise and it is now time for you to work it is time for you to get ready for that promise because the thing is is when i got my marital promise first of all I was not in my season of marriage. I had just received the word. But it comes a time and a season for that word, for that seed that was planted to sprout, to spring forth, that fruit that you're waiting for. And 
for some people it's your season and for other people that is why it's important for you to discern the season you're in because you may be in a season of waiting you may be in a season of pruning you may be in your season of actually learning how to hear from God and there's nothing wrong with that but to avoid discouragement to avoid allowing the enemy any kind of foothold any kind of any kind of access to your mind any kind of access to your peace and joy and the love that the father gives to us freely and willingly you have to discern what season you're in and you do that by spending time with god by talking to god not just going after each and every prophetic word that sounds good that tickles and itches your you know scratches your ears for you you have to ensure that you're in your season and it takes a lot of maturity to walk past a word that is talking about marriage when you know for a fact, you know, it, it takes a lot of maturity to walk past a good sounding word and to know that you're not in that season. And if you do that already, glory to God, okay? But if you're one of those that just picks up a word, picks up a word, ooh, marriage, 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 because of the desire that you have in your heart, it's dangerous only because you are inviting discouragement because you're not in that season. So that's why it's important for you to speak to the father and ask him, Heavenly Father, what season are we in? What are we doing right now? What's my task for this season? Are we getting pruned? Am I getting delivered? Are you having me walk in the calling that you placed on my life? Like it's, it's important for you to talk to God and get that. And I was about to literally say, I don't know why I'm going here, but clearly Holy Spirit's driving. I know I don't have my seatbelt on. I'm being real reckless, but you know... <laughs> let me put it on like because i don't know some of y'all like that the seatbelt on and the thing is the seatbelt be going on when i'm checking people but this isn't a checking word this is a beautiful word to let y'all know that it is faith that pleases god y'all so with that being said as much faith as you put in the sun coming up every single day that the sun comes up is a new day that you're closer to your promise and some people with them spirits of discouragement well i've been waiting for this long i've been waiting for this long the reason you've been waiting for this long is because your attitude is still stank because you're still letting it mix in with that foul spirit of discouragement when you start to look on the side of faith when you start to look through the eyes and spiritual eyes of faith then you're changing your verbiage is going to change up. Your language is going to change up. You're no longer going to be talking about, yeah, but, or this and that, or God's blessed them and, and not me and da, da 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 When you start speaking in faith, that's when things start changing for you. But if you want to be discouraging on other people's channels and in and, and conversations that are had or in the comments or even sending emails, you're not going to get looked at. The only people that you're going to attract with a spirit of discouragement are other people that are just as miserable as you are trying to be right now. And the way you break that is the, you just look up. Because I'm telling y'all, it gets ghetto sometimes. It really does get ghetto. And some of y'all be thinking that these people that's on these platforms, everything be peachy. The reason we are on these platforms is because the Lord called us first and foremost. And secondly, it's because he knew that we were going to stand back up once that storm came to knock us down. Because some people, these storms be coming and y'all just lay there. Y'all stay down and he doesn't want that. He wants you to stand right back up, punch that storm in the face in Jesus name and keep it moving. He wants you to trust him. He wants you to know that he is not a God that is going to lie to you. He's not a man that should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. And every promise is of his is yes and amen. And he wants you to know that he's doing every single thing that he promised you in this hour now. So the same faith you have in that sun coming up and being in the sky to shine some beautiful sunlight on everything, make things hot make things whatever your temperature is in the world right now you still expect day to come and night to come because you have faith in that because you've seen it you guys have seen and felt god working your lives many times before but you overlook it because of what you're waiting on him to do right now okay as sure as the sun is coming up you have to have more surety that god the one that brings that sun up is going to bring that promise to pass hey god i will chase see who god it's good and the two scriptures because he was talking to me and he was talking i was like lord i know first of all because you normally give me some other things and first this is why y'all have to go with the spirit of god not a spirit because these religious spirits be like well god works this way he talks to me at 12 o'clock every monday you know with my you know just being ridiculous and they try and put god in a box god will purposely switch it up not only for you but because he wants to the reason why God switches things up is because we get comfortable. So if you're somebody that listened to God in one way and it was a very obvious way, he will switch it up to get you to understand that he can talk to you anyway. So if he normally talks to you in a way that you can hear him and it just suddenly stops, it's not that you did anything wrong. And again, I don't know why I'm going here. It's not that you did anything wrong. It's because he's trying to tune your ears spiritually in another area. So if you were a dreamer and you suddenly stopped having dreams and you were relying on your dreams to hear from God, but he's wanting you to get in his presence 
and actually listen to his voice when he's speaking to you when you're in prayer that's just him tuning getting you comfortable with a new way of hearing him thank you holy spirit so if the way the lord has talked to you in one season has changed in this one and you feel like you can't hear him don't condemn yourself don't start combing everything with a fine tooth comb and like throwing everybody out and throwing everything out thinking it was something you know wicked or evil that you brought into your midst or something and if that is the case he will definitely let you know but this is for those that the lord has switched it up on you suddenly like i'm no longer moving that way i'm over here and i need you to follow me y'all gotta remember the children of israel that they were led by a cloud by day and a pillar of fire, a pillar of fire by night and they were led and they followed it because they knew where that was that's where god was and their enemies nothing could get them that's how they survived in the wilderness for 40 years with the same clothes same shoes they were fed with literally heavenly bread like come on now it was because they were with god when you move with the spirit of god he's going to take you to some real weird looking places but that's where trust and faith comes in because it's not going to look pretty it's not going to feel pretty but he just wants y'all to trust him and understand that he's never going to steer you wrong he's never going to put you in a position of compromise he's never going to put you in a position where it's like uncomfortable to where you lose like even when you think you've lost, you didn't lose with God. And with this being said, it's like in the area of pride. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So in the area of pride, there's going to be situations where you're you're going to be tested because the spirit is definitely creeping up on a lot of people to see who, who will give it access. And the thing is, is anybody that says they've never dealt with the spirit of pride, I, mm, mm, hey. <laughs> I definitely take that to prayer because you know you just stay humble and the way you stay humble is you remain teachable okay don't ever get to a point of thinking you know everything about everything even about spiritual warfare even about prophetic words wherever you may I'm playing low wherever you may be gifted in and you feel like you've been operating in it to the fullest and it's just been like spot on boom 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 don't you ever get to a point of thinking you can't learn more and you're not teachable because the minute that you get in that position the minute you let pride knock on your door you look through the people and you crack that sucker it's coming right in and the thing is god he will allow it and he will send tests your way and with this thank you holy spirit because i was like where are we going with this with this in the area of you losing there's going to be some situations that y'all are going to have to be the bigger person oh god i don't about you say and it's gonna hurt and i'm telling y'all it's gonna hurt and i'm speaking from experience because i was just like god i'm not doing that like i know and i tried to sit here and say i know it's not you first of all God is a God of unity. Like, of course, he's going to tell you to make amends with somebody that you wanted to slap the potato salad out of, you know, but <laughs> he always gets the glory in it. And the thing is, is you're going to have so much peace afterwards. You gonna fight. You gonna fight. God. You're like, I'm not, I don't, I don't even know what to say to this person. I don't even know how to start this conversation. I don't even know, you know, like you're making excuses as to why you're not going to reach out to old dude, old girl. And this is for whoever it's for do not let pride knock your blessing because that right there can literally be a test i've been tested with pride so many times and it, it's always gone great for me because i passed them and i'm saying this as humbly as possible to motivate those who are about to go through this and i only speak from experience because if i came here and was just telling you yeah pride you know you're gonna be tested and stuff and like and i haven't been tested I'm either about to be tested in it or I have been tested in it and I'm coming to let y'all know that um you're going to pass because you know but there's always victory in Jesus so whoever that's for if the Lord is having you reach out to that that girl former friend I don't I don't know I don't know who this is for I'm really just I'm, I'm sensing somebody in my spirit like it's a woman and there's somebody that did you dirty and um you're just like I'm not saying nothing to her like I'm not apologizing to her the thing is, the spiritual maturity is going to mature so much in you. You're not even going to be recognizable anymore to these people that you're even apologizing to. They're probably going to wonder like, whoa, why are you apologizing to me? And that's really going to, it's going to show the fruit of God in you. And it's going to give him the glory. So, whoever you are, says, just apologize. Don't, and people used to say, I used to say, swallow your pride. Don't swallow that. Spit that sucker out right to the pit of hell where it belongs. 
and say what Holy Spirit tells you to say. Don't you try and fix nothing together. Say, Lord, because I'm telling you, I had a whole attitude when I was doing this. I was like, God, I don't even know what to say. So if you want me to say something, I need you to give me words. He's like, okay. And, and <laughs> wrote out the entire thing and it was beautiful. Like it was absolutely, it had me, you know, about to shed a little teardrop lit, you know? <laughs> but whoever that's for, kick that pride out the door, close the door to it for good and let the Lord bless you. Because the thing is the Lord, before destruction, before the fall, I'm butchering this. It's in Proverbs, help me Lord. That's not even the scripture that I was planning on, you know, like none of this was planned, but. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> ah, help me Holy Spirit. I guess it's added to today's word because again, this is spontaneous and I wasn't expecting that. So I'm just gonna let the Lord do his thing. And yeah, here it is. So in Proverbs 18, 12, before destruction, before the destruction, before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty, which is prideful. And before honor is humility. So whoever it is, and that's Proverbs 18, 12, whoever it is that is on your heart right now. And I know, I know, I know how you feel. You're just like, I'm not talking to them and you're trying to justify it. I'm gonna let you know right now that justification right there, that little voice that's saying, but I don't, that's literally the spirit of pride. So you can either kick that sucker out the window and walk into your blessings and walk into what God has for you, or you can keep letting that spirit death grip them blessings because that's exactly what you're doing. Um, so yeah. And I don't know who it is. It's it's literally it's not just a woman having a problem with a former girlfriend or something it's whoever holy spirit just brought to your mind and you're probably trying to push it back like yeah that's not god it's god and i'm letting you know this i'm telling you this from experience y'all and it's it's going to suck your flesh is literally going to fight you like don't send that don't even talk to them like do you remember what they did and then the spirits are going to try and talk and say yeah but remember you know like, no you just rebuke them in jesus name like i don't know so yeah but this word okay so he just really i'm glad i put the seatbelt on i was really being reckless earlier like we're not gonna go anywhere <laughs> kayla you know chill out but faith is the substance of things hoped for but the evidence of things not seen i feel like i just butchered that oh my gosh if i butchered that y'all grace all right god has it for you I have it for me. All right, you know? The substance of things not seen, but hoped for. I really just butchered that, I don't know. Okay, you know, and I'll put that in the thing, yeah, the, the description thing. And yeah, for those Pharisee Jimothys, <laughs> not today, all right, in Jesus name. <laughs> don't do it. But anyways, God wants y'all to have faith. Keep believing whatever he promised you. If it's a man, if it's a wife, whatever it is that he's promised you. It's not just marriage. And everybody be thinking, like, ah, it's marriage. That's just what he's given his prophets the word to speak right now, okay? And another thing, like, I don't, the whole, like, prophet thing, I'm a child of God. Just, just call me a child of God, y'all. I don't want to, the whole label and stuff, that's just me personally. Yeah. So, I don't want y'all to feel like I'm any up there or any better i just want y'all to understand i am a child of god going through the same walk as y'all some of y'all are just at different points literally last year this time was when god had me walking in my calling so that should tell y'all something i haven't been in this thing for 20 years i haven't been walking with the lord since i was four because i know people be saying that. i've known the lord said okay good for you many of us were prodigals i was a prodigal daughter but i'm back and better in jesus name okay so the scripture that he gave me, he gave me two scriptures. He gave me Jeremiah 29, 11. Y'all already know that's a bop, okay, in Jesus' name. And it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. When God made that promise, boo, he meant it, okay? He meant it so he can give you a future, peace, and hope, okay? He knows that life right now is really ghetto. He knows that you've been through some things. He knows that people stabbed you in the back. He knows that you wanted to absolutely slap potato salad out of somebody, but you didn't. And you didn't know why you held back. You didn't know why you didn't go off on that person. That was Holy Spirit holding you back because he knows that greater is he 
that is in you than he that is in the world. So these people that's trying to come at you, get you out of that place of peace, they're not worth it. They're not worth it. And then he also, thank you, Holy Spirit. He had a little choice for you. He's like really, God is too good, y'all. The other beautiful scripture that we already know. Nehemiah 8.10. This is my scripture because y'all, hey, God is. Then he said to them, go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord is your strength. When things get ghetto, laugh. And y'all probably about to say, well, that's that's hard. I can't do that. I can't do that. And it, okay. And you know who's sitting right there telling you you can't? It ain't God. He's telling you to laugh. If you just have the random urge to laugh when something is coming to take you off, when something is coming to try and discourage you, that's God. That is literally God. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Laugh in the face of evil. Laugh in the face of adversity. Laugh in the face of contention and strife but don't give in to it i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all the joy of the lord is your strength it's gonna get you to where you need to go and god is good all the time y'all keep trusting him don't ever think that y'all are in this by yourselves because it does i say this often because it gets ghetto like this christian walk gets ghetto but it is so worth it because everybody that listens with their spiritual ears and sees with their spiritual eyes y'all already know that this table that's being set right now we about to eat and the thing is, is these disgusting spiritual roaches these little pharisee spirits religious spirits you should be focusing on the rapture okay jesus is coming back in like two weeks he told me in a dream and it's like how did jesus tell you what he don't even know Okay, I need you to read that scripture where it says, yeah, he told that one guy, he told Jimothy in the woods when he was coming back, but not the one that's coming back to redeem, okay? Like, test the spirit, y'all. Like, God is not an author of confusion. In his word, don't nobody know. The angels don't even know. Come on now. Like, really, don't play these games. And then also these spirits of discouragement. The ones, anything that's going to try and get you out of that place of being hopeful, even though it don't look promising, The thing about roaches, y'all, they like food and they're going to come where the food at. And this, if you getting fed by Holy Spirit, he dropping that manna, these roaches going to try and come and get some. But you get, get that raid, which is the blood of Jesus <laughs> and pop them. OK, but you pop them with love and you only pop them as Holy Spirit leads you. So, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's, I'm feeling like that's it because I don't really have anything else. And, you know, at this point, I'm kind of just rambling. But, um, yeah, thank you all for uh, supporting uh, the ministry. God is good. This is his ministry. And the thing is, is like, it's his ministry, but many of you have ministries in you. Like, there's like Pharisee spirits that want to be like, it's the ministry. Of, it's Jesus's ministry. Okay, clearly. All right. All right. You know, I would not be on here speaking to anybody because I don't talk all right I really be like me and Moses <laughs> we the same in terms of like not wanting to say nothing but the ministries that the Lord is birthing in you and you're just like God I don't know if that's God or I don't know if I'm qualified for this you don't gotta be qualified okay God qualifies you all right you don't gotta be qualified for this just come come ready all right so thank y'all for your support your amazing words of encouragement thank you to all those that have sown i literally pray for all y'all like as i'm led and i'll be getting emails like out the wazoo and i still pray as i'm led but i also want y'all to take that time like if you're able to write down these long like super long emails everything that you just wrote down i'm telling you it's more effective if you pray it because i've had this happen way too many times in person where people have wanted me to do things for them and they're giving me this entire game plan and I just don't have any like you know unction to do anything and I'm just like you just gave me all the instructions that God gave you and I'm not doing that that's like going to some kid in school and saying hey can you do my homework no that's your grade okay so it's not me turning away um prayer requests I still pray and touch and agree as Holy Spirit leads me but it's like many of you you have to have faith in 
and the fact that God is using you to also change your life. You're the one that's breaking generational curses. Everything that you sent somebody to pray for you, whether it's in the comments or an email, everything that you laid out, I'm like, God, they already know what they're doing. He's like, exactly. But y'all have to have that faith. It's not me. It's not the anointing. It's not any other ministry. If you want people to touch and agree, that's great. That's beautiful. But many of you send these emails thinking that your prayers aren't being heard. You're being heard, baby. And the Lord wants you to understand that he wants you to have faith. He wants you to have that oil, okay? He wants you to have that confidence and courage to approach his throne with your petitions, with your declarations, all in Jesus name, and just be ready to receive. We all got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. So yeah, and I'm just praying that encourages you because I'm telling y'all there, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And if you feel as though like I'm more righteous than you, that needs to change both in your mindset and both in how you're living. If you truly aren't living a righteous life, then there's no prayer that I can send up for you that's going to do anything, one. And two, if you feel as though I'm more righteous than you, then that's something that you need to work out with yourself. Because, baby. <laughs> All right, if y'all even knew a lifted that rug up a little bit, you would run and scream. All right, in Jesus' name. You'd scream in your heavenly language. But that's just how good God is like no just remain humble have faith in God have your own faith believe in the fact that God chose you to do what it is he's called to be done in your family in your marriage and wherever you're at and I thought I was rambling but this is just him like in the encouragement portion but y'all y'all really got to believe in yourself and I know and I'm, I'm trying to say that not in like the weird like you know some like new age they be like yeah like i don't i don't even know fully what what they be saying because they be wilding like really wilding but this ain't that this ain't that okay but you have to believe that the lord chose you you have to believe that you are fearfully and wonderfully made if you believe the lies of the enemy then of course you're gonna believe like oh i have to go to this pastor i have to go to this youtube channel i have to go to this person because they're hearing from god and i can't you're hearing exactly from god you have all these prayer points and you know what to pray for but you're sending them to somebody else. God gave you that game plan, baby. And it's time for you to lock and load. Put your dukes up in Jesus' name. Get the blood of Jesus smeared, all right? And go to war in Jesus' name. And yeah, so have faith in God and know that he's behind you in it all. He's not gonna send you in a land full of giants <laughs> without your stones, baby, first of all. So yeah, all right. But y'all be blessed. God loves y'all. Jesus loves y'all. I love y'all. And y'all go for Jesus, because he went for you. Ooh, bye. <laughs>